Hey, yo, golf nuts out there. Guess what? This week's the British Open. Uh, this week, we've got the British Open, or The Open, and I'm really excited about all this. It's really fun watching all these majors. Uh, I put together a video on the Masters. Uh, unfortunately, my quality of the content, I didn't feel it was good. But one of the points I was trying to make up was that uh, when I was on the Masters website, they actually had a section, on a video live feed of the practice area. Most people be like, well, I don't want to watch practice area. I want to go check this. Me, I was intrigued. I was just like, I want to see how these pros warm up before tournaments and stuff. And for me, it was very educational watching these professionals uh, practicing. They had cameras not only on the driving range, but they also had them on the chipping green and the putting green. And so it's just fascinating. The little tidbits and things you could pick up from them and see what they do and uh, kind of learn from and so I really liked it a lot. One of your areas of your golf game is statistics and on uh, the player it will give you their statistics. Remember I was talking about you want to track your fairways, greens and regulations, uh, might not track your average drive distance but uh, you can also take a look at putts. Uh, out of this information we can also pull up kind of how he's doing with the short game. And so Dustin over here is hitting 75% of his fairways. He's hitting 89% of his greens in regulation. That's astronomically high. That's awesome. Uh, of course, he, he just bombs at a mile. And then he hit 28 putts. That's pretty strong. So that's probably one of the reasons why he's 7 under par and leading the tournament with a 65 the first day. Very nice, Dustin Johnson. Uh, just for fun, I decided to go down to Jordan Spieth. Well, you know, since he won the Masters in the U.S. Open this year, he's really put himself in contention for this. And uh, you could be able to see his stats. And there we go. So Jordan's hit 81% of his fairways. He's a little more accurate than Dustin is. Hit 83% of his greens. Didn't quite hit as many, but still 83% is pretty high. Um, obviously, he's almost 38 yards shorter <laughs> than Justin is. And then you've got 28 putts still. Great putting round. So I think that really helped him out. So he was uh, hitting the greens and keeping the putts low. So he was at 500 par doing great so you might be asking yourself okay well let's take a look just for fun at the worst player and see what this particular person his stats you know on a professional level okay we got sir nick faldo this gentleman has won this tournament several times in the past he loves the british open he does really well at the british open and uh just a true champion. He's 57 years old, so for him to come out and just shoot some amazing scores is uh, uh, just hard to ask for. It's just He's just an icon. And uh, look, he hit 81% of his fairways. Doing great on the fairways. Greens of regulation, he's one out of two. Boy, did it drop. And then the amount of putts he had was 36. So, this was telling me that when he would miss a green, he just had a hard time getting up and down. And so hence the reason why he shot 11 over was an 83. So he did great on the fairways. And um, I just want to bring up this point here, just talking about that a lot of us are focused on the driving range. We're trying to kind of be able to, you know, hit our drivers further. Nick Fowlo still hits it 286. That's when I'm 57, I like to still be hitting it that far. That'd be great. And uh, so he's doing really well off the tee. And just he's missing a lot of the greens there. Of course, could be an iron issues and things. You know, might need to straighten something out. But on the back end, also, he's like, 
you need to be getting up and down at the same time. So it's just like, okay, but maybe half those greens he's missing, he should be able to get half of those up and down. So, you know, that would have been another four or five strokes right there that could have came off. So that was Nick. Uh, let's go take a look at somebody more towards the beginning of the pack. Par. We got, ooh, David Duvall. He's a champion. He's won this tournament before. Let's see what his stats are. And at 69% of the fairways. So he was missing some, a few fairways there. But his green in regulation was up at 78%. Not bad. Well, he had 30 putts. And, which is decent. Decent. And, um, so this kind of gives you uh, a view here, kind of shooting even par in a round. You like to have about 30 putts. You can hit about three out of four greens in regulation. And um, he might have been able to kind of get himself up and down a few times to keep it at even. And uh, so, uh, again, kind of showing you, you can miss the fairway some, but the greens of regulation is going to be big just hitting those greens and then keeping your putts down so those two areas can really uh, dramatically improve your game so um, these are the pros that's what's going on out there so I hope you guys will be able to get something out of this video I thought this was fascinating I could take a look at your stats all night long so I thought I'd share this with you and be able to do that so if you like to have more videos click that subscribe button and we'll give you updates on that um, and then if you're learning stuff off these major championships feel free to comment down below I'd like to hear your thoughts on stuff so thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys later